called the Wolf Pup. <laughs> the, the baby trailer. Oh my gosh, yeah, this thing has a cool covering on it. <laughs> this is way comfier than our bed, Is it bro. softer than our bed? This is way more comfy. This is the inside of the trailer before we have anything in it. Like, we got an outdoor okay. shower. Hello guys, welcome back to Audrey and Spencer and Hi. David. <laughs> I'm focusing on driving it. Yes, yeah, Spencer is in a highly stressful situation, but he's handling it very, very well. Today, we officially picked up our RV, and it's right there. <laughs> Spencer's been driving it around a little bit, getting used to it, because when it's hooked up to a truck, it's definitely different. Um, and now he's going to learn how to back it, which is the most stressful part. So I'm so excited to do this. Uh, if you guys didn't know, we actually had this RV picked out for a while and we were gonna pick it up this like the next day um, that we put a deposit on it. But one of the windows blew out and I don't know if it's because it was a faulty window or if a rock hit it and shattered the glass. But yeah, before we even bought our RV, it was broken. And so then they had to take it to the glass shop and it was there for like two weeks and today we finally picked it up. Ooh, do you Let's like walk it? around this yeah. rig and check it out. It. Trailer. And there's our trailer. So this is like half the size of yours, but it's like perfect because we don't need anything bigger. But yeah, it's called the Wolf Pup. <laughs> the, the baby trailer. <laughs> it's it's smaller, but it's cute. We'll give you need anything bigger. Than exactly. This. this is perfect. Plus, it's easier to tow around. Like it's not a huge trailer. Let's give you a little RV tour. Now, this is before we have any of our furniture because we haven't even bought stuff yet. Broke this handle. Spencer almost before broke the handle. <laughs> so yeah, we still have to buy like furniture and bedding and stuff, but we'll give you the RV raw. After nearly breaking the handle, I'm really scared to like not force anything. So. Yeah. <laughs> Here's home away from home. Home away from home. Ta-da! So here's our little dining area. Yeah, the mattress is really rocks. They're gonna wanna get a pad for that. Oh my gosh, yeah, this thing has a cool covering on it. It's fake granite marble or whatever you call it. These are cool because these are actually bigger than, the, they're not just little cabinets, they're actually like they're down so you can hang up like your shirts and stuff, mm -hmm. so you don't get wrinkly clothes. Which is great for me because some of my shirts wrinkle very easily. Andre can tell you. I can literally yeah, like lay does. on my front somewhere and I'll get up and there's like entire creases. Yep. In and then we have some cabinets up oh. here to store more stuff. Yep. I like the storage spaces of our... RV, and then if you looked at the bed, there's some more storage space. Yeah, lots of storage place. space. This is the kitchen area. So yes, we have the fancy, fancy sink. I can't get it back on. Um, yeah, it's wet because we just like tested the water. Cupboards, microwave. microwave. I don't know why Oven. I have to show you that. It's Our little friends. Wait, yeah, glass. stove. This is the furnace. This is the furnace, stove. stove. He said that this glass is not heat resistant. So if we put this down too quickly after we use it, then rip glass. Yeah. So we need to be careful about that. There's a lot of things we have to be careful in this RV. Like if we don't do something right, like we'll break it. Yeah. Um, kind of take care of your stuff. We have more storage. More cupboard space. Whoa. We have the fridge space. Ooh, it's cold. It feels good. It's so hot outside. And then we have this, which goes back way far. It's so nice, we store lots of like fun freezer fans. <laughs> wow. This is our little table area that actually turns into a bed. I'll give you a little DIY. So the table comes off, you yeah. take the poles, oh. take the poles out of the, the poles out of the ground and the table, even like that. Okay. Then you put the table back down in this little bracket Ow. thingy. You good? Yeah. So and then down right here. you take these off and this becomes like part of the bed. So if anyone wants to sleep on our little trailer, here you go. Would you like to demonstrate the, the, the sleepiness? Oh, this is way comfier than our bed, Is it bro. softer than our bed? This is way more comfy. What? Rip off. Yes, it's more squeaky. <laughs> 
So, or what? Squeegee. Squeegee. So this is what the bed would look like. Okay. And then uh, the best the part. The spacious bathroom. The spacious That is some reason, for some reason, is more spacious than Audrey's family's trailer. Yeah, and our family trailer is bigger, but so yeah. we have the... The standard trailer toilet with the standard trailer sink with the standard trailer shower. Mm, and the yes. standard trailer cabinets. Yep. That's pretty, pretty typical. Standard trailer mirror, Ooh. standard trailer vent. Yep. The only <laughs> difference things. is that with Audrey's family trailer, you basically like take out this whole of space right here. That, like, yeah, it's like very this. squishy. You basically, yeah. So this is nice. There's also countertop space. To yeah, put stuff, it is nice. So. This is the inside of the trailer before we have anything in it. Like, literally, we just barely bought it, so. Spencer is in charge of the outside of the trailer tour. Here we have the uh, puppy kitchen. This is basically just like a fridge on the outside to keep like puppy treats in. So that's pretty cool. You have your leash latch. You have a little rack to hold probably like a propane tank or something. Nothing too big because he said that it's only good up to 300 pounds. Oh, we got a shower. We got an outdoor shower. Look at that. Woo! That's nice. <laughs> Thank you for demonstrating that. <laughs> I see that you figured out how to get that open. Yep. Okay. It works. I figured up. that was just shower controls. I didn't know that was like an actual outdoor shower. We have the ever glorious sewage drain down here. Can't wait. I can't wait for that part. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's to turn on the electric water heating. I'm glad if you If you don't turn on that, then it goes off of heating the water with propane instead of electricity. Oh, thank you for holding the camera. You're so welcome. people don't have to hear this disembodied voice floating in the air. With fingers <laughs> randomly pointing. You just have to talk louder because your face is not up next to it now. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh. Is that loud enough? I think so. Yeah, so that's to turn on the electric water heating. <laughs> Can you imagine being a salesman for an RV? Right. Uh, Mr. Parts RV Smarts. <laughs> I guess that should have been the other way around. Mr. Smarts RV Parts. <laughs> okay, did I get everything? Is that it? Bingo! Go team! That was terrible. That was really, yeah. Okay. Hey. And now it's time for backing. All right, I'm gonna be Spencer's guide, Rip. I am so nervous also, and I'm not even doing the work. But we're doing a 45 park, which is apparently the easiest one. Is a 90 the hardest, I'm guessing. There's probably only two options. So the goal is to get it between that line and this line. Correcting, but he's pretty good. First time he made it between all the lines. All right, Dad's trying to direct Spencer. We're working on 90 degree parking right now, and I do not know what's going on. Like, I kind of know, but like, I feel like this is mostly a dude thing to be honest. <laughs> like, I feel like their brains are just wired to understand this stuff better than me, but I'm trying to learn. But yeah, so we worked on 45, we're working on 90 degree now, and maybe we'll go back to 45. You did it again, sir. Wow. Oh. oh. Okay, hold up. <laughs> we're buying an RV. We didn't explain this earlier. It's the next day. We're buying an RV because we're actually be using that RV on our honeymoon um, because we want to travel somewhere, but we can't go anywhere on a plane. Well, with we can. We, we can, just but don't want to. yeah, we don't want to because we're scared. Well, I'm scared. I don't know if you're scared. I'm scared. I'm not really scared. <laughs> I'm not scared for myself. Yeah. I'm more scared for you because you've got asthma. <laughs> I asthma. I asthma. So, yeah, so, we don't want to take a plane anywhere. We don't want to stay in any hotels. We're just not taking chances. So, yeah, we're going to take an place. RV. We're going to we're thinking about East Coast. Stop the plane. Yeah, and then the East Coast people released a statement saying that a bunch of the East Coast states are requiring that if you're from Utah, Specifically Utah, I know. and come to this state in the East Coast. You have to quarantine for two weeks. Yeah, 
So it's gonna be rough. We're gonna do the northeast, like the northern east coast. For That's not happening now. So since like most of the northern east coast states made those restrictions, we're thinking just the other way, just southern east coast. Because most most of the states on the southern east coast are still good. Yeah. I think. Yeah. We'll but. see when it comes to that time. We still have to plan it. But anyways, that's yeah. why we're getting an RV. In case you're wondering, because that is definitely not a normal thing that really would get. <laughs> but no, we have one though. Not. So anyways, back to your regular program. We're shopping for our RV right now. And we're in the poo poo section. <laughs> <laughs> With all the fun supplies we have. Um, let's see, let's give us a little haul. We have whatever this is. It's supposed to hook the pipe down, so. It's supposed to like provide a ramp for the poo poo. <laughs> and then we have this fun water pressure. And then we have a water filter. And over here we have the fun stuff, like the lights that can go on your awning. I really like this one the most. But not only that, is you can have a rainbow disco party or you can have a pink toilet. Like the options are endless, totally customizable. So yeah, having fun at Walmart. Oh my gosh, we can have a giant mat. Brand new item that was just added into the cart was the Lego wheel track. Oh, we can have giant Legos. <laughs> we have a genie and a container. <laughs> oh, utility trailer levels. Wow, this is so manly stuff. I'm done. All right, we're back. We're done, and we're both really I'm tired. I'm so exhausted. Yeah. I don't know why. I think it may have been a combination of the heat and then we were just dehydrated. Mm -hmm. And now we're both sleepy and hungry. Yeah. And we have other stuff to get done. I'm about to take medicine. I don't know. <laughs> so that's fun. Well, I've got a headache now. But yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> anyway, so. But we're excited to have our RV finally after waiting for so long and we're yeah. excited to go adventures with mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And yeah. We're just gonna have to do some more RV shopping, but we were done. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna save that for another day. I'll wrap it up for today. Yeah. So. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So that's it for today's adventure. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and comment down below if you have an RV. Comment down below if you're an RV owner. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.